um, and I fat people are discriminated against them, right? There's a lot of and discrimination. And they put on stress for the fat person, and they get fatter. There's a lot of evidence that that is what happens. So now yeah. that white people, especially white men, are being discriminated against, can should we expect to see a lot of fat white men? I'll be, what? So let them. me ask. I'm black and I'm slow, so I may ask in a weird way. Are you are you trying to prove that fatness doesn't cause diseases and death or is not it I'm doesn't not, no. cause high blood pressure and I'll leave, all this stuff? I'll leave to the epidemiologists and the medical doctors to, so to debate that out. Oh, but so there, but are what you I do to prove show that it's attractive or something? No, what I show is that there's different ways of understanding or sociologists talk about framing. There's different ways to frame an issue or to present an issue. Right. And, um, and I show that this, the, the medical and public health crisis issue has become dominant in part because of the negative stereotypes and social implications of being heavier. In part because today in the U.S. and in other wealthy nations, those who are heavier also tend to be poor, tend to be people of color, and the more the elites are the ones who tend to be thinner, and that that's also a way that they can distinguish themselves from others. And it's because they eat better than the ones that with the money, as no, opposed to one that doesn't. You know, they, they there's lots of reasons that explain why the wealthier are thinner. Um, yes, part of it is that they have access to, you know, the the. the fruits and vegetables, et cetera. They have access to gyms. They have more time. They're not working three jobs. Right. Being poor and working multiple jobs is very stressful. That stress causes cortisol levels to increase, which leads to weight gain. Being discriminated against also raises stress and cortisol level, which causes more weight gain. And in fact, all you know, one of the things I show in the book is all of this anti-fat bias that we heap on on people because they're heavier right. and we tell them you're ugly and you shouldn't you know and you shouldn't be going out like that actually has been shown to make people heavier not thinner and they're also less likely to get to the doctor and when they do oh, yeah. get to the doctor they're less likely to get adequate medical care because the doctors share these biases and they look at heavier people um, and I've heard this especially from women, they go to the doctor, they have a sore throat, they have a sore knee, and the doctor says, well, you know why you're experiencing this. It doesn't matter what it is. You know what, it's because, it's because it's of your sugar. weight. Go lose some weight and come back. So should fat people hold on to the fat or should they get rid of it? Believe me, anyone who's fat, if you have a conversation with anyone who is fat, right. ask them about, I mean, maybe you don't want to ask them, I'll just tell you, <laughs> they've tried. They, right. And typically, they've been on more diets than you yeah, or I've I have that. been on. Yeah. And they do lose weight short term. But you know what happens for about 90% of people who lose weight on a diet? They get it back. They gain, back, they gain back and then some. Yeah. And, um, and so telling them to lose weight or telling them that they're not okay the way they are so what should you tell them, that they are okay? Or, I think you just, or you should be you, like, you know what? I don't mean any harm, but you should get rid of that fat. Well, you know, I don't think that's going to be very helpful because they've already tried. But can't you they be nice know. about the way you say it? I think you try. I mean, my philosophy in life is try to be nice to everybody. Yeah. Kindness. I think <laughs> that's a really great thing. Would you want to be fat? You personally? Why I, would she want I, to be I, fat? Would I want to be fat? There's a. Would I want to take on discrimination and be mistreated in society? No. So, so you're saying that. Um, and I, fat people are discriminated against them, right? There's a lot and of discrimination. And they put on stress for the fat person, and they get fatter. There's a lot of evidence that that is what happens. So now yeah. that white people, especially white men, are being discriminated against, can should we expect to see a lot of fat white men? Be, what, fat white men are being discriminated against, really? Should we be able to this see a lot a of fat flash? white men? <laughs> You so can't even keep a straight place. This guy. What is that? So, you can't even you know, keep a straight place. Yeah, it's a time sequence of tier three, eight months, month 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 Come out, come out, whoever you are. Right. Because this term fat phobia is is borrowed from, it's inspired by another word. Does it, does it, can you guess what term fat um, phobia? There's another kind of phobia we talk about a lot. Uh, white supremacists. <laughs> that, I mean, white supremacy is a real a problem, <laughs> but a word that has phobia in it. 
Uh, white phobia. <laughs> Homophobia. Oh, that's so, where fat phobia came from? I believe so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So fat, so, and one of the things that I found Wait, what? really surprising when... What do you mean that's where it came from? <laughs> I started, Homophobia I started doing... was first. Therefore, we should call it fat phobia. What the fuck? Hey, thank you, tier 3 cheeseburger stick. My daughter was born with a hearing impairment that ultimately left deaf, left her deaf shortly after birth. I have been working for years to pay for a new surgery that would allow her to hear again. Today was her 8th birthday, and I managed to get her what she always wanted for her birthday, the sense of hearing. I decided to let her listen on what daddy has been watching late I turn on your stream, and what do I hear? The silence. Now she's crying, thinking she's deaf again. Nice job, Forza. Alright, I'm fucking done with your shit now, alright? I'm fucking done.